Uh, so hey guys welcome back to another editing tutorial with lost thought in this video i'm going to be showing you how i edit my urban pictures basically uh, so today we're going to be retouching this corridor it's like an underground tunnel in montreal so let's get it started um for the people that watch my videos you already know the drill will crop on four and five because it's just like the best format for instagram of course um we're going to try fixing a bit the cropping here but i think we're missing some valuable points so we're just going to come down and reset here sorry for that since i shot with a fish eye there's like a lot of distortion here instead of cropping instead of cropping before fixing the distortion i love fixing the distortion before cropping um so basically what it does it just like adds you like more subject to your picture because when you crop before the distortion you lose like a bit of the picture which you might need i don't know so that's a bit that's a bit the main reason behind it so right now we're kind of looking a bit for that perfect cropping i'm trying to get mostly the lines up i don't really care about the ground um so i'm just going to keep on going here okay here looks perfect um i'm going to come down i have like a lot of tone curves here but i'm going to apply the ryan one and if you're wondering how i did this this um i did a tutorial about that on my channel so just check it out um so right now when i apply this i'm kind of i want the lines to be really like popping and everything as you can see here it's kind of fading so we're going to reduce a bit the exposure first and we're going to increase the contracts but right now you see when i increase the contracts the colors here are also popping but we don't want that so we're going to try to fix that later right now we're focusing on the ceiling here so right now it kind of looks pretty good you can add a bit of highlights just to make everything looks cool um we're going to use the cloning i don't want this little thing here like it's an alarm or whatever i don't like it so and i don't also like using these settings here so we're just going to go to the never yeah i think i did a mistake somewhere hold on uh okay never mind so we're just going to come here and click and we're going to take that off and it's also a good style to remove stuff off of your picture for people that are new to lightroom um so right now i'm kind of satisfied with the ceiling now we're going to try fixing the orange color which is like overblowing and i don't really like it um what you can do you can come here to the orange itself it's in colors um you can kind of just reduce it a little bit but since in this picture we don't have a lot of colors it does not really affect it that much um so we're just going to come here and kind of reduce it a little bit and also the yellows we just want like kind of give a bit like a whitish fade so it does not takes all the viewer attention off of the picture um so right now i think i'm kind of satisfied with the colors and everything um sharpening it's at um 70 and also this is also a good tutorial for the people asking me how I update like my pictures on instagram in hd and everything if you pay attention to my editing the contracts is important because it really is like give the power to the picture like it strengthens the color and a picture with the strength in color appears to be more hd and clear compared to a picture less in contracts it just appears to be fading so those are little step the little steps like i don't know also the clarity what it does it kind of sharpens the edges of every line in your picture so that's why it gets like those sharp and clean lines um those are also the little important tips as you can see here we're coming back to the sharpening it's at 70. even though i shot at iso 100 i almost have no noise in the picture i always put it at 40 because it just like softens everything and it makes just everything clean um coming here to the highlight priority 
sometimes it's good to bring a bit that mysterious vibe to your picture you just like do it a little bit you don't want to also overdo it uh you can do it you cannot do it it's really about a preference and same same thing with the grain i don't like the grain either in my pictures um so we're just going to come up here to the settings and see what we missed and make sure the picture looks okay so i think that's about it really editing open pictures is really easy to me because there's not there's not much details to be playing with and that's about it this is the beginning and this is the end i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um don't forget to follow me on my instagram and subscribe to my channel and comment bye see you next time